Greetings to all viewers of YouTube channel Electrician One. In today's video, we will see how we can make a compressor for inflating tires on bicycles and cars from an old refrigerator compressor. First, let's see the junction box of our compressor and where we should connect the power supply. Here we notice three connections. We will now see in a detailed diagram what they look like and where they should be connected. On this slide we can see the junction box of a hermetic compressor with thermal blocks. We notice three thermal blocks marked with the letter L, N and number 1. And of course there is a connection on the right for grounding. That's how we are going to connect. Here is a slide showing it. So first we bring the phase conductor and zero conductor to their place and grounding to the grounding connection. If we connect our plug to the socket like this, the compressor will not start. It is necessary to bridge point L with point 1. We will do this through a single switch that will allow us to turn our compressor on and off as desired. This slide shows us that. So now we can use this switch here, which we notice in the picture, to turn on and off our compressor as desired. If we want to connect this hermetic compressor directly, or without a switch, we will do it in the way shown, which means that plugging the switch into a socket starts our compressor immediately. The connection that we decided to use is this one, and it differs, as you can see, from direct connection only in the place of connection of the phase conductor. So we decide to make the connection as shown on this slide. And now let's see how we do it practically. Now let's start connecting our power cord. Grounding conductor, neutral conductor, and now we're going to plug in our switch. The connection has been made and we are now closing the junction box. So through this power cord we supply power to our compressor and we have a switch which we can turn our compressor on and off as desired. And here our compressor is ready to be connected to the electric network. Before that, Let's see a little about its pipes. We notice three pipes. This is a suction line, so this is where it will suck in the air. This is a process line. It is used to add Freon to the cooling system when it is in the cooling system. And this is a discharge line, where in this case we will discharge the air that we can use to inflate the tires. And now let's try how it works. This is our switch with which we can turn on our compressor. Oil from the compressor itself also comes out through the discharge line, so for such purposes it is necessary to put one air filter on the pressure pipe. That's what we're going to do now. Here we have one rubber hose that we can place on the pressure pipe. 
We will fasten it with a cable tie so that the hose does not fall out. We will put two cable ties just in case. We will tighten them. Now we place the air filter here. Pay attention to the direction of the filter flow. It is marked with an arrow. To make it easier to put on an air filter, we will lubricate it and it is best to lubricate with soap. And here we put the cable tie. The hose on which the manometer is located so that we can monitor the pressure that will be in the tire. And now we have our tire pumping installation. Let's turn it on and try how it works. Here you can see that when I close it here, the pressure is growing. And now we have to go and try our compressor practically on inflating the tires of bicycles and cars. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any comments, please leave them in the section below. Like this video and share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next week with another video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day!